got this bad boy file down so it sits in there nice. So this bad boy sits in there nice. Now let's see how it all fits together as a whole. And she's ready for some glue. How about that, Mo Focus? Huh? Yeah. But I would just highly recommend make sure you know what glue you're using because my glue I use will leave some white residue on the rubber wheels and on the plastic too, but I just paint over it, it's fine. But this is the stuff I use. But in this case, because it's gonna be my key, I'm gonna use uh, Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna slop it all in there and slop it all in between and then just smash it together okay, real quick. to show you how I did it. If you notice the gap is like minimal. You can still see the rivet coming through the key. It's actually pretty solid. Just stuck together, not even glue. So, pop it apart. Okay. The keyhole is beveled. One side's countersunk, one size drill bit, and the other side is another size drill bit. The front wheels, you gotta file down to make the key fit in there. Once you have the key fitting in there, you gotta file down the front, and I'll show you everything in my video that I use. But yeah, that's the basic gist of it. File down the front where the key's gonna clear that. File down the front, and then you gotta file the new holes for the wheels, because the wheels are gonna sit a little different, so there's not gonna have anything to guide them by, so that's what you do there. But that's how I did mine. So, now that I got everything lined up, time to glue together. But in this case, we're not using glue. We're using good old-fashioned JB Weld. Downside down. Smash it in there. So now this is where I'm gonna go a little kind of crazy with it. Because I'm gonna literally smash it all over this. It's behind in the back. Try not to get it to the sides very much. Because
the bottom and it was ripped. straight once you get it all smashed together but this is the just of it because this is JB Weld and not super glue and I want to make sure it stays together because I don't want to ruin my paint on the car, Jesus. Make sure it's centered. All right. So now that that's nice and set, it's not going anywhere. set and center and I'm gonna let it dry. gap in the front, but I'm okay with that. It was made in 25 minutes. <laughs> Haven't glued the rear yet, but the front's so well glued, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's not coming apart. It sits pretty level, which is exactly what I wanted. Looks good to me, buddy. Buddy. Maybe you're gonna focus? Looks good to me, buddy. Level. All the way across. So that's my door key. And then there's my ignition key. First gen, second gen. Sick. That one I use super glue. Turn slightly, of course, because the wheel's slightly crooked. It turned in the mold. That's okay. It still rolls. That's all I care about. It turned out really good. No scratches or nothing. And that is how you make a CRX key. <laughs> 